show is a quick video about UK three aspect signals with Z21 app um, using this wiring schematic for preset seven on the uh, 4018. I've wired the, the signal in. Um, this is a um, quite a basic signal, but there's enough, all these wires here, um, it's generally wired up for negative return, but this is a positive return output. Now, because this one has two wires to every LED in the signal, I'm able to just take all the colored wires, put them to the common, as you can see, and then what was the negative return, I've now put that to the output. If you have these signals, uh, you can do this, but if you have other signals, you may need to use the adapter here to convert it from negative to positive return. That's what these do. So the first thing we need to do is set the 4018 to the start address uh, we wish the module to be. Now, this customer who I'm doing this predominantly for um, wants to start on address 25. So the first thing you do is you press the program button. Uh, you can either switch the accessory address in the DR5000 config or if you're using Z21 and you set up an accessory of 25, you can do it in there. So I'll do it in here first. So the red light is on, on the 4018. Uh, we can then switch one way, and I always do it the other way. But now the red light has gone off, so now this is active, 25 to whatever. Um, and it was the last thing sent, so this is, is, is live. Now we need to set the 4018 into preset seven. So again, we press the um, program button. We then, um, I'm programming this on the main, so the wiring is just looped across to power. It's all on the DCC bus, but that actually goes back. You see these two wires go back to the main track output. If it was on the back of the Z21, again, the main line track output. We then uh, call up address 999. CV47 preset 7 and we just hit the lightning uh, to send it there we go now it's still on so we turn the program mode off and now the signal as you can see is in the state of red okay so we'll come to the, the Z21 app in a minute but let's just make sure the signal's working correctly as we think so if I just tilt it up a bit so, in the DL5000 config, if we open this up, we've got addresses uh, 25 onwards to suit the signal. So on here, if you look, switching combination. So to create red, we want the first three addresses on red. So 25, 26, and 27 are all on red, okay? Okay. Which is what we've got. So if we change the first one, 25 to green, 25 to green, you'll then see that now the signal is set on green. So if I then set it to uh, yellow on here, let's look on here again. So yellow is 25 on red, 26 on green, and 27 on red. So if I do that, we now have an amber, yellow. So this on with two addresses and three aspects, red, amber, and green, we can achieve it. So can we achieve it in the Z21 app? Should be no reason why not. So we want to go to control station. Now I've already created a three aspect signal, but if you don't know how to do it, you just go add, you find the three aspect signal, which is here and you choose it, it then sticks it in. Now, because I've already addressed one uh, 2526, it automatically assigns the address 2728 to the second one, which I've just created, okay? Okay, so now we need to configure this signal. So if we choose it, that means the pink kind of background to it, go edit. So in here, we've got two addresses, um, and then we have to either turn them on, which is green, and zero which is off to create the effect okay so that's it's as simple as that you just you, you map the effect 
So to get green, we need uh, on, off, off, I believe. You've got 25 and 26 and you set it to this um, it should work so we need to save that we need to edit leave that now we'll go to the switchboard you see we've got the two uh, let's just make this bigger for you there we go it's a signal let's see if i can get it so we've got both of it in a shot it's clearly clear to see Red, amber, green. Red, amber, green. So we've only used two addresses to create the one lighting effect rather than have the flashing amber as well. We could do that, but that would enable using a third address. Now, uh, I haven't looked any deeper into the Z21. I don't use it myself. Um, but at the moment, it doesn't allow me to use the third address on that same signal so um, that'd be something I'd have to look into but to get the free aspect working as you can see um, th those settings work um, and it's just, just like that if then you wish to use it in iTrain again um, you could then use the third address um, even though in the app you're not at the moment I'll look into that I, I just don't know how to do that